Hey guys, so uh, I've been working on making this water box design. Um, I drew it up in CAD because I'm kind of trash at drawing with by hand and this is a lot faster for me. Also more clear for you guys to see. Um, before I get into it, I just want to say thanks to everyone that responded to my original post on Facebook. Um, great response, great feedback, a lot more information than I expected, really good answers to questions that I had. Um, so I'm, I'm really grateful that that group is there because it's helped me out a lot. So basically, this design that I've been thinking of making, um, you know, this is my water box 1.0, of course. So who's to say whether or not I'll stick with this idea? I really want to get some more feedback on this before I go and spend a few hours making this stuff. Um, but basically, the design is the exhaust comes in through the top right here, and then... I have this opening in the baffle on the bottom, as well as this little cutout on the second baffle at the bottom, so that water can drain through. And then obviously the exit's on the bottom, so that way any water can drain through the exhaust. Um, as far as the baffles, designing them and making the openings, the way that I did that is just using uh, the area of a circle. So for the area of a two inch circle, it's 3.14 inches squared. So I just said, okay, well, two circles that have roughly the same combined surface area. I did a one and three quarter and a one inch circle. So that way I got a big opening for a little bit more flow and a little opening. I think it'll work. Um, but again, that's why I'm posting this. I'm curious what other people are thinking. So my thought is with this first baffle, there are going to be some sound waves that go straight through the one inch circle. But for the most part, they're going to bounce off of this and then go back and forth in this first chamber and then bounce through this bigger opening. If we take out the first part and look at what lines up between the first and second baffle, you can see there's only this one little sliver that lines up going through the second baffle and then out the exhaust opening. So not many sound waves are going to make it through there. Most of them the vast majority are going to go through these two openings and bounce back and forth between these baffles here. Then if I get rid of my first baffle, now I look at the second baffle and the exhaust, still that same sliver, that's the only opening that's going to go straight out. Get rid of that, and that's the whole thing. So I'll put these all back. That's what I'm thinking for getting rid of the sound is there's going to be a lot of bouncing back and forth between these chambers before the sound makes its way out the exhaust. Um, I also think that having this tube kind of come through here a little bit might be helpful. Again, I've never done this before, so that's why I'm posting my design on Facebook for everyone to scrutinize me and say, you did this wrong, you did that wrong, and then depending on how wrong or right I am, eh, maybe I'll make it. So we'll see. But yeah, basically that's my thoughts. Um, the only other thing that I was wondering about is water, because this is the exit to the back of the jet ski. This is gonna be a rear exit conversion. So if water's coming up through here, rises up through the baffles and comes up through the top, there are baffles, but as far as water's concerned, that does not matter. This is gonna fill up just as easily as a straight pipe would. Um, so I'm not sure how big of a concern that is and if I should be really worried. I don't think it's going to make a difference if the jet ski is rolled upside down or not. So I'm curious what people think about that. If there's guys out there that have ridden straight pipes, um, if they have issues with that. I know I at one point rode a straight pipe on the 650 and never had issues other than going deaf. Um, so I, yeah, that's just Basically the only open-ended question mark at the end is how much do I have to worry about water making its way from the tail up through the water box, up through the expansion chamber, around the head pipe, and into the motor. Um, in my personal opinion, I think that the fact that there's not really much of anywhere for the air to get out, even if the piston's at bottom dead center on one cylinder, it still has to force its way through the reed valve backwards to let the motor fill up with water. And when the jet ski is sitting there floating, um, that's still 
you know, there's a high spot above the water level. So I don't think it is going to fill up. Um, but again, on rollover, tip overs, I'm not really sure how much of a concern it is. So that's really my open-ended question. Um, hopefully people think this is a good design. Hopefully it's something I can make work. Um, I guess we'll find out, see what you guys think. Uh, I'll stop rambling here. So yeah, just basically let me know. Happy 4th of July. Thanks, you guys.